Today we'll be discussing the process of attaching electronic documents throughout the system, which I will refer to as eDocs. I will start with attaching a document within a job. Now that I have entered a job, I will click the button labeled eDocs. You will notice several tags or folders within this screen that essentially act as filing cabinets. All tags are controlled by user permissions, which only users with permissions can access a particular tag. For demonstration purposes, I will add a document to the Diagrams tag. Click Attachment. Select the file of which you wish to upload. Change the description file name if you choose. Select the corresponding tag. You will now see an asterisk next to the tag or folder name indicating that files exist in that tag. These document tag names can be customized by clicking here. You can customize up to 10 of the 16 non-standard tags which we will cover in a separate video. Now I will show you all of the areas that eDocs can be attached throughout the system. Lead Processing Attach documents prior to quoting. Quotes and or proposal maintenance. Attach drawings and or pictures for future reference. Property management or builder templates. Attach drawings and pictures. Purchase orders. Attach freight quotes, emails of price confirmation and so forth. Installer maintenance. Low contractor's license, insurance documentation, and legal agreements. Vendor maintenance. Attach credit apps or private agreements. Open item maintenance. Click on an active invoice. Electronic docs. Attach. This will allow you to attach the vendor invoice for future reference. Customer maintenance. Attach internal credit apps, agreements, and or tax exempt certificates. This concludes the eDoc demonstration. Setting up eDocs will be covered in our video labeled eDocs Setup. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support department and they will be more than happy to assist.